y'all ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm ready. I'm good. Okay, ready, Ann? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. I'd like to call this regular meeting of the Northmont Board of Education to order. Mrs. Ferrara, will you please call the roll? Mrs. Bloom? Here. Mrs. Woody? Here. Dr. Espelita? Here. Mr. Poulos? Here. Mr. Walker? Here. Mr. Underwood? Here. Thank you. We are going to dispense with the, the Pledge of Allegiance, as I'm not certain that everyone's in a place where there's a flag close by that they can see. Uh, but I am going to begin our meeting, as we always do, with the reading of the mission statement. And the mission of Northmont City Schools is to provide students an exceptional education with diverse opportunities so they maximize their potential and are productive, responsible citizens. That being said, our first item of business is the Superintendent's Helping Hands Award. Uh, Mr. Thomas. Thank you, Mrs. Bloom. And uh, prior to the meeting, we did have an opportunity to uh, present our Helping Hands Awards to our recipients. And let me read just a little bit about them. Uh, this was submitted by Mr. Groan, the union principal. The gift of time is precious, and volunteers are truly generous when it comes to investing this valuable resource in our schools and with our students. Beth Langenkamp and Lisa McCormick have given Union Elementary countless hours of their time. So I recommend Beth and Lisa for the Superintendent's Helping Hands Award. They have volunteered their time on countless events like school dances, ice skating, sub sales, and many other events throughout the year. Beth and Lisa attend our PTO meetings each month. What is most remarkable is that they do all this without anyone asking. Beth and Lisa are strong volunteers who have unique abilities to mobilize staff, students, parents, and the community to work together. To achieve our goals, our school is full. They readily take on any task and never want anything in return. Beth and Lisa are outstanding volunteers who are excellent candidates for the superintendent's health community. Words cannot describe how important Beth and Lisa are to the daily operations of Union Elementary. On behalf of the staff of Union Elementary, we thank Lisa and Beth for their efforts and, contrib and contribution of time. And I can just say on a side note, we see them in other buildings as well. They certainly understand the importance of community, and uh, they are involved in so many areas, they just cannot be recognized enough. So thank you, Lisa and Beth, for all you do for Northmont City Schools, and in particular tonight, Union Elementary. Amazing candidates, I might add. They are both, like Tony said, are just seen everywhere in the community, a uh, valuable asset to the Northmont, not only the school district, but the community at large. So thank you for their time and energy and selfless efforts. Um, the next item on our agenda is um, a recognition to Isaiah. Uh, we want to tell you, Isaiah, how indebted we are to you for your service this year as our student board representative. For almost 30 years, our high school has elected a senior to represent the district students on our Board of Education. Each one of those representatives has written their own script and made their own mark, but you've done it during a year that began with a levy issue on the ballot and finished with remote learning due to coronavirus. You also had the opportunity to weigh in on some difficult decisions facing our district. Those are the times when your careful consideration, open-mindedness, honesty, and articulation skills were evident and showed us what a great, what great leadership you had developed. And for that, we are grateful. You've been an integral part of us this year and continue to make those connections even during these unprecedented times that we are experiencing. For those reasons and many, many more, I move we accept the following resolution honoring Isaiah K. Underwood. Whereas the success of the educational system in this country is dependent upon the involvement and interaction of Board of Education members, administrators, teachers, staff, parents, and students, and whereas local school districts across the state of Ohio are entrusted by the state legislature with the responsibility of providing leadership and direction in local educational ventures through the board, their Board of Education, 
and where as citizens of all walks and ages from throughout the Northmont School District have come forward to accept the challenges associated with guiding the education of our youth by their service to the Northmont Board of Education, and whereas in 1990, Northmont became one of the few districts in the state of Ohio to have a student representative to serve as a member of the board, and whereas the Northmont community has become a better place to learn and live because Isaiah Underwood made a commitment to serve as a member of the board, and whereas Isaiah Underwood has been an integral part of this Board of Education and has carried out the duties of the office with dignity and pride during his term as a trusted student representative, and during his term on the Board of Education, Isaiah Underwood has continued to provide a new, fresh perspective to the daily activity of our 5,000 student district. And whereas Isaiah Underwood is a respected student leader and valued friend of many throughout the Northmont community, now be it resolved that the Northmont City School District appreciates Isaiah's dedication and acknowledges his many con contributions while serving the Northmont City School District, and be it further resolved that the Northmont Board of Education recognizes the quality leadership Isaiah Underwood has demonstrated, which has helped to shape the direction of the Northmont City Schools and expresses its sincere appreciation by honoring him in declaring Friday, May 8th, 2020, Isaiah K. Underwood Day, the Northmont City School District. Yay! Do I have a second? I'll second that. Uh, <laughs> any further discussion? I'd like to just share, I, Isaiah, I have appreciated your leadership and your poise and your professionalism. And I will, one of these days, find you and give you the hug that I want to give you um, one of these days. So congratulations. Thank you. I, Isaiah, I just want to say a couple of things as well. Uh, you know, even though your time with us on the board was cut short as a result of this pandemic, you'll probably really, really never understand how lucky you were to be on our end of the board with Chris and I <laughs> during the time that you were able to be on the school board. So anyway, oh my word. Th thank you, man. Thank you for all, all the good times that you've shared with us. I appreciate it. We're going to miss you. Um, I should have. I hear. Uh... <laughs> Isaiah, it was, um, it was a pleasure having you, and we expect great things from you in the future. So make us Northmont proud. I hear a lot of past tense words in there. I'm still here for a little bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not gone yet. You are, Isaiah, but uh, honestly, uh, I think what a, what a great opportunity in Tulane. Um, we're wishing you nothing but the best, and I know you're going to make us proud. And, and uh, there's simply no doubt in my mind, nor anybody on the board's mind, that that's going to happen. And I should have worn my boots after after uh, Tom's exactly. <laughs> Tom's Tom's speech because it got real thick in here all of a sudden. <laughs> well, Isaiah, you're not you're not you're right. You're not gone yet, but um, please don't be a stranger. Keep in touch with us. Let us know what you're doing. Um, I, I just we're real. We're, we are really truly interested in your success moving forward. And we know you're going to be successful. Mrs. Ferraro, will you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Bloom? Yes. Mrs. Woody? Yes. Dr. Escalita? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Mr. Cooler? Yes. Thank you. Um, I, too, will save my hug till we're allowed to hug. But um, virtually, you're getting it right now. Um, <laughs> The next item on our agenda is the treasurer's report. So, uh, Mrs. Ferraro. Thank you, Ms. Bloom. The only item I have for you tonight are the minutes from the April um, 13th meeting. That's all I have. Any questions for Mrs. Ferraro? Um, do I have a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of April 13th, 2020? So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? 
Mrs. Ferrara, will you please call the roll? Mr. Walker? Yes. Mr. Poulos? Yes. Mrs. Bloom? Yes. Dr. Espelita? Yes. Mrs. Woody? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Thank you. Moving on to the personnel agenda, does anyone require any separation on Section A? Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. A second? Second. Discussion? Mrs. Ferraro, will you please call the roll? Mrs. Woody? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Mrs. Bloom? Yes. Mr. Poulos? Yes. Dr. Espelita? Yes. Does anyone require separation on Section B? I think there is only one name. Do I have a motion to approve? So move. We'll move. A second? Second, I guess. Discussion? Mrs. Ferraro, will you please call the roll? Dr. Espelita? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Mrs. Woody? Yes. Mrs. Bloom? Yes. Mr. Poulos? Abstain. Thank you. This evening under the consent agenda, we're asked to approve the student fees for the 2020-2021 school year. We're asked to approve Musco Sports Lighting LLC as the vendor for the stadium lighting replacement project in the amount of $275,900. We're asked to approve elementary and middle school student handbooks for 2020-2021 school year. We're asked to review the high school student handbook for the 2021 school year. We're asked to approve the physical science curriculum in the amount of $32,994. Coming from the permanent improvement front fund, we're asking for to approve textbooks, the practices of statistics AP, the sixth edition math curriculum in the amount of $8,000. $8,855.90 and Myers 3E AP Psychology course in the amount of $8,374.80. Both are coming from the Permanent Improvement Fund. We're asked to accept a public cash gift from Frank and Margaret Caps towards student fund food program. And finally, we're asked to approve META for the fiscal year 21 agreement for course services schedule one and two in the amount of $122,721.70 as per board policy 6320 purchasing. Anyone require any separation? Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. A second? Second. Any discussion? Just <clears throat> Can't, I'm excited about the fact that for our stadium lighting, we are going to, that's going to make that place so much like daylight during the games or during those twilight times, especially. Uh, it's, I can't wait till it's done. It'll be I can't great. wait till we're back on the field again. Yeah, right. Really. Yeah. You'll, you'll be able to sit outside and read a book with the light. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Um, I do want, and I think, Tony, you also wanted to comment on the um, donation, the public cash gift for the student food program. This is a um, family that I know, and they are um, taking their stimulus check and donating it to Northmont Food Service because they have been so impressed with what we've done um, delivering food to needy families in the district. Um so I, I just want to give them a shout out. They're great people and they really? have, have followed us through Facebook and through the media and are very impressed with what we've done. So awesome. Thank you to yeah. them. Yeah, that's that's phenomenal. Mrs. Ferraro, will you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Woody? Yes. Dr. Espelita? Yes. Mrs. Bloom? Yes. Mr. Poulos? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Um, one other note, um, with a, with a, my fellow board members' permission, I'm going to do a thunderbolt and put it in their window on their at their house. Good idea. Yep. So that people know that they have 
done something great for the community. Very nice. Moving on to the reports. Anyone have any board reports this evening? I do. I have a little bit from the high school. Okay. So last time I mentioned our election, now I have the results of the election. So Philip Kwanzaa was elected, and uh, he's a good guy. I think you guys will enjoy working with him. What, what, was, his name? what was the name again? Philip Kwanzaa. Okay. Um, do you know what he, what is he involved in, Isaiah? Um, he's involved with the football team, the lacrosse team. Oh, so he's a, it's an athlete. Yes. Awesome. Can't wait to meet him. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Oh, from the high school, I also just wanted to recognize some seniors that had a virtual signing day. They had six athletes signed from their homes. So Andrew Nick signed with Ohio University. He's going to be going there to wrestle. Gabby Klein signed with Ohio Wesleyan to play basketball. Daisy Sampson and Shelby Leeds signed with Morgan State and Tiffin University to play volleyball. Then Seth France and Keaton Kessling both signed to play football at Toledo and Wittenberg. That's awesome. How many yep. students have we signed this year? Does anybody know? 25. 25 students to yes, sign. I believe, I believe oh. Andrew White also signed with Grace College and Winona Lake. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Only I reason believe. I know that is I saw his, uh, he applied for the Ensel Scholarship, and we have awarded him the $10,000 scholarship this year. Wow. That's, that's great. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, McCall, I think, is, or Jim Smith uh, published the fact that there were, I think there were 25. Awesome. But, 25 scholarships. Yeah, I also want to give a shout out to both of them, McCall and um, Jim Smith, just are doing a great job with the alumni and um, highlighting the alumni uh, uh, athletes who are serving in the in a capacity to serve the community. That it's just it's just awesome. It is neat. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of good good publicity for us in the community. I'll share with you one thing. I shared this with Tony. Um, uh, Miles Johnson, who was my pops kid uh, two years ago, uh, had a scholarship at Urbana College. And uh, as, as we all know now, Urbana has shut the doors. And, and I reached out to uh, Miles, and he got back to me. And there are a number of schools that are looking at him. So hopefully he'll be able to complete his college career playing some football. Good. So, That'd be good. Yep. Okay. Is there any new business? Any? Oh, I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> well, you know, you, you guys have talked about most of the things I had on my list. So. <laughs> but thank you for the opportunity. I, I would just like to say that uh, this, this community is, is just amazing. Um, some senior parents came up with the idea of making some yard signs for all of the seniors. It has been fully funded by the community and the Northmont uh, uh, Alumni Association and NDEA. And so we're just thank you, thankful for that group. Uh, more information will be coming on picking up those signs to honor our seniors. We're looking for non-traditional ways in this very non-traditional year. There's a, they also started a Adopt a Senior. It was totally community driven. And uh, it's just been really incredible to see these uh, seniors adopted. Um, and, and, and people get showering them with gifts and so forth. Again, Mark deserves to say did not get some of the traditional things that we've gotten in the past. And let me just say this about this senior class, and I know we'll, we'll do some things later, but my, my, my lands, the, the number of prestigious universities and, and opportunities that this class is, uh, that we're seeing is just unbelievable. We'll start with our own uh, rep. I, I knew a lot about Tulane as far as athletics and so forth, but uh, when Isaiah told us at the last board meeting on Tulane, I, I took a look. They're the 40th ranked university in the nation. I mean, this is a prestigious university that is going to. We also have students going to Princeton, MIT, U.S. Navy Academy, as well as just a number of other prestigious top 100 universities in, in the country. And so um, they, they are representing us, you know, and the community is having an outpouring of um, ways to to do some non-traditional things. We're going to still do some more, and, and we're working on some plans. I wish I could call them tonight, but we're still working with the health department to get some things approved. But we really want to make this class uh, feel the, the love that uh, people are, are sharing 
uh, through Facebook and things along those lines. I would like to also talk about the CAPS family, talking about this community. They wrote a brief note and said, please use this donation, and it is the stimulus check for beating the kid. Thank you. Stay safe and stay healthy, Frank and Peggy Cass. That's just, uh, just one more uh, lightning bolt that moves in the window, but there are so many stories behind those lightning bolts. The frontline heroes that you mentioned with the, the athletic department have been uh, honoring the uh, social media. That, to me, that, that means as much as anything because we do. We have a number, a number of alumni out there battling this, this uh, monster that we all know is COVID 19. And thank you for the coaches, former coaches who continue to nominate the uh, for, for what they're doing. Uh, Mr. Walker is right. We are up to 25 total that have signed. There are a few more out there, and so that number will continue to grow as far as athletic scholarships. And uh, we're very proud of those folks. And, and thank you, Isaiah, for, for mentioning them all by name. So just think of that. Um, this last few weeks is going to be interesting. Uh, uh, the end of year is going to be unique in the fact that we're going to collect 5,000 devices in a pandemic schedule. The way that we disperse them is not in a pandemic setting, so we can't just reverse engineer it. It's, it's, uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, and so uh, we are thankful for all the principals, the CIT, everybody who's putting that plan together. That information will start to, uh, to filter out tomorrow to our parents so that they, they start to uh, see the magnitude of what we're doing. Um, we wish that we could have uh, uh, kept those in their hands to the very last day, but it's just not possible when you're talking the magnitude and trying to schedule these. And so uh, we'll continue to work with our parents. The first wave will come out tomorrow on some on uh, some schedules to bring them back. We know everybody's schedule is is, uh, is not going to fit what's out there, so we'll have some makeup days later to make sure we get the devices in. We'll continue to work with people based on some, some obstacles or limitations they may have. Uh, but I am very proud of the plan that's, that's going to be unveiled as, as we continue to do that. Um, as you know, we are working on some graduation plans. Uh, there was some guidance that came out from the state last Thursday that kind of shifted that. Uh, we listened to what the governor had to say today. And so now I'm, I'm working with the principals and a number of other people to uh, contact the county health department to see what we can do. We really want to try to uh, come up with a plan that still has an individual side to it with our, with our students, recognizing that the mass gatherings uh, cannot happen, but we want to try to do more than just a simple virtual graduation. So we'll, we'll let you know as we continue to work on those and get them approved by the local department. But, uh, this, this senior class, as well as all of our transition groups, our sixth graders, our second graders, um, our eighth graders, they, they all mean a lot to us. But we really are concentrating on seniors right now. So if, if you hear people saying, why is the information out there? We're trying the best we can. We will try to do something that honors our seniors the best way possible in a pandemic. So uh, thank you for the opportunity to share that, Mrs. Bloom. And if anyone has any questions, I'd be more than happy to take this. I do have a question, if I may. Um, does your do your plans involve also the senior recognition night? Yes, um, obviously that that one is more than likely going to be virtual. Um, but as much as that as we can move into graduation we we, we will. Uh, what we originally had planned got thrown out last Thursday, quite frankly. And so we're, we're redeveloping plans. Things continue to clean us. And uh, um, that, that evening will probably be pretty much all virtual, just so we can try to get the, the people uh, recognized in some form. OK, thank you. Any other questions for Mr. Thomas? Any new business? Any old business? Uh, Mrs. Ferraro, did you get the uh, dates for us, by the by? Uh, yes, ma'am. And um, can you share those? Yes. The um, Both resolutions, um, the date, both have to be passed before August 5th. So by virtue of the fact that our board meeting in August um, is after that date, both resolutions will probably have the first one will have to be done in June and the second resolution will be have to be done in July. And do you have any indication as to when we might hear anything from the state in terms of what's going to happen with the 
state budget. Um, at this point in time, um, there's very little coming out. I know we had a meeting last week with the Ohio Department of Education fiscal person, and um, he is, you know, they are under the orders too that um, that they are to start cutting their budget. Uh, at this point in time, we don't know how much exactly that is. I know that Governor DeWine has recommended the 20% for all departments, um, but there are still some federal guidelines that the state of Ohio um, Department of Education Department has to meet um so they don't want to give us numbers yet but we know that they are working on those possibility of cuts is yes um is is um possible uh but we don't know how much yet um we are also you know obviously in contact with the county there are discussions um possibly of how those property tax monies are going to come into us normally we start getting those monies in july whether or not that money will come in July or whether or not we will, those will get pushed back some to later in July and then uh, mostly received in August is also yet to be coming out from the county. Um, so we are, I, I am monitoring um, the money situation as far as when the timing of funds are supposed to come in. Okay. The, and there's no way that we can change the amount that we get, right? And I'm sorry, you, you faded out, so I did not hear what you said. There, there's no way that the county can change the amount of money that we get for our past issues on the ballot, correct? Correct. They can't change that. The only thing is whether or not um, the delinquency rate that Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Did, did I understand you to say a 20, potentially a 20% cut from the state? Well, that was the that was a recommendation that Governor DeWine had asked that all the departments look at to start um, cutting twenty percent from their each of their budgets. Um, the only thing with the uh, Department of Education is the fact that they have to meet certain federal requirements um, that will prevent well that could prevent them from having to cut that high. So the fact that the Department of Education um, also disperses federal money or receives federal money for school districts. Um, could limit that, meaning that it, it could shrink that a dollar that a percentage sum. So we're not sure exactly how much that could be. Um, but at this point in time, I don't think it's going to be the twenty percent. But it's going to, there. There will probably be there'll be a cut. And in, in round numbers, twenty percent would be about five million dollars for us. Um, yes, that could be that could be the potential. Yes. So it's it's twenty percent of the money that we would get from the state, which is Correct. about half of our revenue. Correct. Right. Yes. 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 But right. I don't think it's going to be that high. So yeah. So we'll continue to talk about that. Keep us informed. I'm sure. Yes, ma'am. I will keep you informed. Thank you. Any other business? Era. Other than that, we stand adjourned. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Bye. Thank, Thank you, Linda. Take care. Well. Thanks, Isaiah. Yep. Yeah. Good luck, Isaiah. Thank you. Bye. Good luck, buddy.